Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through how to set up a proper resolution in the Linux console using Arch. So this is meant to be a fix using Grub and the Grub configuration file. So make sure you're using the Grub bootloader on your Arch Linux system. Otherwise, this doesn't apply to you. So if I reboot things here, we'll see that things don't look quite like they take up the entire screen. Even the grub menu here only takes up a little section here. This is a common problem, especially if you're using virtual machines. And when you first boot up into Arch here, if you're using a TTY console, even on other Linux distributions, a lot of the times the resolution is off for the Linux console. So I'll log in real quick and put my password in. This can be quite annoying that it doesn't have the full screen capability here because you're losing out on free real estate around your screen. So let's go ahead and fix this by editing the grub config file. I'll do that by first clearing out the screen and then typing sudo. I'm going to use vim as my text editor. You can use whatever you feel most comfortable in. And then I'm going with the forward slash Etsy forward slash default forward slash grub file. This is the default grub configuration file in its default location. And if you're new and stopping by, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos, including streams on Saturday. So now I'll press enter and then put my password in for my administrative user. And then inside this file, I'll see a bunch of flags here that are either currently set or commented out. You can see the ones that are commented out have these hashtags in front of them. And a few of these just give us some messages here just to let us know what they mean. But what we're looking for is something that says grub underscore GFX mode equal to auto. By default, the method for grub detecting the resolution for your Linux console is automatically. As we can see, sometimes that doesn't work out that great. So let's change this so we have some manual input and specify directly what our resolution actually is. All right, let's edit the auto after the equal sign. So I'm going to insert here and erase auto and then specify my screen resolution. For my screen, it is 1920 by 1080. And then I'll put another X and specify the bit color control so it can be either 16 or 32 bits here. I'll stick with 32 and that's really all I need to put in here. I could change this to something else, of course. Let's say your screen was a little smaller and maybe it was 1024 by 768 you can specify that here instead, but I'm going back and I'm going to put my 1920 by 1080 in since that's proper for my screen. Again, make sure you know your resolution and you put it in. After you're comfortable with your setup, make sure to save and exit out of your file, saving these changes, and then we'll have to do one more thing before rebooting and fixing our resolution here. And if you went ahead and made it this far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help me out. We're almost done. I'm gonna clear things out so we can see things a little better. And the next command I have to do is since we made an edit to the grub config file, we must make and push that change to the boot grub directory in the grub config file there. So if grub is properly installed, you should have this command and it goes grub dash mk config for grub make config. And then we'll do a dash o with a space in between the G and the dash O, followed by another space. And here is where we specify the directory and the location of our grub config file to write our changes. So by default here, it should be in the boot. So forward slash boot, forward slash grub. And then if we look in here, we'll spot a grub.cfg file, and that's the file I want to edit. So make sure you have one and I'll type in grub.cfg. What this will do is update my grub configuration file based on the flag that we just got done setting up from auto to our manual resolution. Let's press enter at this time. It says I need to be root in order to run that. That's a good catch. I'll just type sudo with a space and two exclamation points. That'll rerun this last command with sudo in front, or you can simply hit the up arrow, 
put sudo in front of everything and then a space, run that command, and it's asking me for the password this time. I'll put my administrative password in and we see a few lines come scrolling across the screen. It says that it found the Linux image, found the initrd image, and found the fallback initrds. And the best part is that it said that it was generating the grub configuration file. This looks good, no errors, no problems so far. What I can do at this point is test my change by rebooting my Arch Linux system. So I'll do sudo reboot and just give it a moment. And we can already see that something has changed here. Our grub menu that has been displayed is now taking up the entire screen. So we know we did something at least right. So let's enter in and see if our Linux console is also changed and running correctly now with the proper resolution. And sure enough, it does look like it's taking up the entire resolution of the screen. And if I type my username and my password, and I'll just run something like NeoFetch here, and it looks great. I'm getting my full real estate used up on my screen at this point. And congratulations if you made it this far. You've successfully fixed your resolution and set it to something custom here in the Linux console using Grub. I'll run another program like HTOP just so we can see that it does in fact take up the right hand side of the screen as well. Looks like it does great. And you gotta love using the Linux console only with only 67.7 megabytes out of the eight gigs I have available running here on this machine. Quite amazing how minimal Arch can be and yet so powerful. Anyways, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.